Now it looks like a big junk house, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Right, but, uh, my name is Skip Schneider. I work down at Thayer Academy in, in Braintree, Mass., a private school. Um, I'm a high school science teacher. I teach biology and AP environmental science and a marine science class. And so I had the opportunity to bring down a portable planetarium that my school has. And so I brought that down and set it up. I know the third graders have been studying uh, stars and planets for the last few weeks, so we wanted a chance for them to see everything that they've been talking about. So we had a great hands-on experience. The kids got to see stars, see constellations. We got to land on the moon, land on different planets. I, I, think, I think so. Yes. Right here. Um, can we learned it in science. Those are the most um, warmest. Warmest, warmest. They are off the wall excited. It's uh, screaming, um, everything from meteor showers to stuff that they've seen or heard. But they think it's they 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 thought it was the coolest thing in the world. They uh, it was almost it was hard to keep them under control just because they were so excited. And that's that's what gets me so excited: is seeing the kids' um, joy and enthusiasm, and in uh, in seeing the real world and seeing what's actually out there. So they were they were extremely excited about the whole whole event. We went in there, and it was so fun. I, we visited the sun, and it was so hot. It was so hot. I was like sweaty. And then when we visit Neptune, I cooled off. I saw um, the sun. Um, I saw I saw Jupiter, and it it looked like it didn't have that much moons, but it did. I liked it. It was cool to see all the planets. I learned that um, there's brown spots on the sun that are cooler than the other parts of the sun primary goal is just get them interested about science and asking questions and finding out about things and connecting things that they've seen in the classroom and in the books with what's actually out there. Oh my God. 